Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 124. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 121 to 125. Hey, this YouTuber is a bowler and he had names here and their bowling score right here and the game in which they got this bowling score. And what he wanted to do was get an average, but for groups. So if he wanted to get an average for Joe for the group one to five games and then another new average for Joe's sixth to tenth games. Now we're going to do this um, in this this video here with a pivot table and then in the next one 125 we'll do it with a formulas. Hey uh, let's do a pivot table. Click somewhere in the data set. Remember field names at the top, records and rows and no blanks, just one cell and then go in 2007 to data. Oh wait a second, not data. That's 2003. 2003, you go to the data menu and then pivot table. In 2007, oh yeah, they moved it to insert, pivot table, and pivot table. Now I'm going to show you the keyboard shortcut. Uh, in 2003, it's Alt D for data and P for pivot table. No way. This is the old three step pivot table wizard. If you like that pivot table wizard, you can still get to it in 2007. You just got to know the keyboard shortcut Alt DP. In 2007, you go Alt and notice that the um, screen, the key tips come up. So you hit N and then V for pivot table and then T for table. I'm going to do this in high speed because once you do this a lot, you just go Alt NVT. Alt-NVT. Now, we ex selected the range because we have it set up correctly as a, a table or database format. Let's click Existing Sheet, and I want to put this pivot table in cell E6, so right there, E6, and then click OK. Now, I have my uh, setup here so you can see how to do it in 2003. This is not how it looks in 2007. This, however, is. Now, if you like this uh, lookup with the uh, blue lines and you like to be able to drag to the sheet, you can right click your table, pivot table in 2007 and go to pivot tables options. And under display, you can see classic pivot table layout. Enables dragging the fields to the grid. Now, that's more difficult than the way they have it set up in 2007, which is you drag it to either the row labels, which are right here, column labels, which are here, values, which is this area right here or filter which is above. Let's see how to drop the names. In 2003 you drop it to the uh, drop field rows here. And I'm going to uncheck that. In 2007 you'd simply drag it down here. The uh, games we need in the call, actually no, we want them in the row labels. In 2007 you simply drag it down here and when you see that blue line above the names you drop it. I'm going to uncheck that. In 2003, watch this. You have to watch very carefully because when you get over here, you see that blue li vertical line, which means it's in the row area. But see that gray line? You have to kind of drag it back and forth, and sometimes you don't drag it in the right place. That's actually why they went to this format here. I'm going to uncheck there and then because it's easier to see that right there and drop it. And then the scores, finally, we're going to drop it. You can either drop it over here like 2003, or since we need two of them, you can drag it over here and I'm going to drag it below. Now, look at what happened here. We can close this now. We have one, so that's just the score, and two. What we want to do is group it. So click in this field right here, right click, and then group. Sure enough, it says one to 19, so we didn't, nobody played the 20th game here. Uh, and so what we want to say is group by fives, and then we'll click OK. Immediately, 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15, and 16 to 20. Now all we have to do, and by the way, that grouping is much easier than how you do it with formulas. Anytime you get one more than one criteria for analyzing data, uh, the formulas become difficult, uh, array formulas. They're fine if you know how to do them. They're just not that easy. Uh, so let's change this. We did that. We did that grouping, which is easier than formulas. Now let's change this to average and this to count. I'm going to right click here and go to value field settings. And uh, we can do lots of things, change the name, but we can change the function. I'm going to click on average and click OK. Sure enough, Chin had 204. 
Sue had 157.2, Kim had 169. Now let's come over here, right click, value field settings, and instead of count like you have with functions in the worksheet, you have to scroll down and find count numbers. Count numbers and then click OK. Oh, they all played that first one. Oh, it's not till here. Uh, Kim only played three. Oh, get down here. There's three, one, four. So not many people got to the 16 to 4 range. All right, so that's how to uh, calculate by groups, average and count using a pivot table. In our next video, we'll see how to do it with formulas. See you next video.